We are the first Ryuski distillery in Germany now. In three years' time, we'll see if the idea was good or not. <laughs> I'm Jeff. I just retired from the military, sold everything I own, and now I'm traveling around the world to learn from brewers, winemakers, distillers, and tell their story. This is my journey of beer, wine, and spirits. first Ryuski distillery in Germany now. It had several reasons why we went that way. When we took over the distillery, we had about 200 casks of aging stock and mostly it was single malt. We actually soon came to the conclusion that this is not the type of whiskey that we are and that we want to produce. So we went through and thought about what's actually, what, what grows here, what's, what's, what's the typical grain that is actually being harvested here in the region. It wasn't barley, it was actually rye. That was, I think, the turning point where we said, okay, that's, that's actually, it just makes sense uh, to use what, what grows here and respect the region. We, we took it from there and started to talk to farmers and see how we could produce our rye whiskey, what could we do different uh, from others. about the story of how you guys started. Actually, we had an, like, a marketing agency for the drinks industry. So that was like our field. We've been in the drinks industry for several years. We actually wanted to do like a mail out to our clients for Christmas 2015. We wanted to fill a little cask of whiskey from the region into a small bottle, say thank you for the business. So we were driving out, out of Berlin through all these rye fields and drove all the way south and visited the distillery. We, we didn't really call him or we just wanted to have a look at it and then we met the owner and very soon he said that he's looking for someone to take over the distillery we were like okay hmm. <laughs> i think we we all knew that this is going to happen <laughs> we, have, we had to do this uh, how many drinks did you have uh, uh, we, no, no, none it was like yeah. really uh, early afternoon yeah it, it just ticked all the boxes with us and made and, sense uh, yeah and so like Half a year later, we actually closed down the agency, we got our business plans ready, totally started off from scratch. We have a big network in the uh, industry, also from production side of things. So we were able to ask people, how do you do it? Can you help us? Yeah, and then in three years time, we'll see how, uh, if the idea was good or not. <laughs> <laughs> During the last one and a half years, we, we started to formulate uh, our own recipe. So we really wanted to do it all in-house. In the end, we, we developed two different white whiskies. One is 100% rye grain, so unmalted. And the other one is 100% malted rye. I think rye is, put it in a short sentence, it's like the spicier brother of bourbon. Well, it's bourbon made primarily from corns. And rye is very known for its spice. It just kind of makes a whiskey, I think, a bit more interesting. It doesn't lose its mixability in cocktails. Actually, it's even more destined to be uh, used in cocktails, in my opinion, because it just gives a broader range of flavors. I think what is really, really important is actually to ask your clients and your customers what they actually need in a whiskey. I mean, a lot of times, especially in craft distilling and craft brewing, a lot of people only make what they really like and maybe their palate is very, very much forward. And then you have something no one really likes right. because you just did it for your own sake because you like it. I think that's something you always need to get back and, and actually think, okay, what does a customer actually look out for in a rye whiskey? And is there room for different experiments with aiming at a bartending crowd? So that's who we see as our focus point in marketing our whiskeys. They need something that works very well in cocktails that, that kind of can shine through. On the other hand, we want to have something 
that you can also really enjoy on its own. So you definitely end up with more than just one whiskey. That's where we kind of have to see where, you, where it takes you. Um.